Space debris is basically all the stuff that humans have brought into outer space and is no longer of use, uh, which ranges from satellites which have completely run out of fuel and are therefore a useless piece of junk, to very small particles and pieces which have been hit off satellites, solar panels, even s loose screwdrivers and things like that. Why should we care? Because these uh, pieces of space debris, in view of the speed with which they are traveling, can harm uh, operational satellites, can uh, endanger the space station, can even put the lives of astronauts at risk. What happened to one of the space shuttles a, a, a number of years ago was that these tiles were damaged. In this case that happened as a consequence of the launch, but that can equally well happen as a consequence of space debris floating in outer space. And I think the recent collision between a Russian and an American satellite in outer space has brought that problem very much to the fore. As a consequence, and that's one of the reasons why I am teaching at the University of Nebraska currently, we are having uh, to address this problem also from a legal perspective. We have to be modest. Obviously, the final solution of space debris is nothing which, which can be created by law alone, but law can certainly help. It can help in impose obligations upon space operators to minimize the risk of space debris occurring. For example, by requiring operators to use the last couple of months of station keeping fuel to send the satellite into a junkyard orbit. Law can also help identify the guilty operator of a piece of, of space debris in case that piece of space debris then hits an operating satellite and then liability questions may be resolved. In short, space law is a fascinating subject which we are starting to build up a program around in UNL.